Hello, my fellow Middle Earthians. Today we are going to talk about the upcoming Lord of the Rings Amazon series. I'm sure that you're very excited about this show and you want to return to Middle Earth. Everything we know about the Lord of the Rings Amazon show. Peter Jackson started the planning of the Lord of the Rings in 1995 and the trilogy had a huge success in cinematography. It is one of the best trilogies in the world. The film based on the high fantasy novel written by English author J.R.R. Tolkien has many fans and supporters from all over the world. And now it's Amazon's turn. The company signed a reported $250 million contract in November 2017 with the author's estate, publisher HarperCollins and New Line Cinema to produce a multi-season show for television. Now, we'll get the answers to the most asked questions about the show. When? Every Tolkien fan asked this when he heard about the series. There is no official word yet on an expected release date, but Amazon are required to begin production on the show within two years. They should have started the production this November, but Amazon doesn't have enough people to start the shooting. A recent update from Amazon, Jennifer Salkin gave some more details. It will be in production in two years, but 2021 is the hope, but there are other people who wish it was 2020. Based on this information, I can surely say that we should patiently wait because the series can't be finished in 2020. Budget As I said in the beginning of the video, Amazon Studios signed a $250 million contract to get the right of the Tolkien's second age story. The budget was said to be at least $1 billion, the biggest in television history. The latest news said that Amazon added another $500 million and so we have now $1.5 billion for the TV series. Where are they going to film the series? The show had two options, Scotland and New Zealand. At first it was official that the filming would be in Scotland, but New Zealand appeared of nowhere and won the battle. Here's what showrunners J.D. Payne and Patrick McKay said about that. We knew we needed to find somewhere majestic, with pristine coasts, forests and mountains that is also home to world-class sets, studios and highly skilled and experienced craftspeople and other stuff. And we're happy to officially confirm New Zealand as our home for series. We're grateful to the people and the government of New Zealand and especially Auckland for supporting us during this pre-production phrase. The abundant measure of Kiwi hospitality with which they have welcomed us already made us feel right at home and we are looking forward to deepening our partnership in years to come. How many seasons will there be? Amazon will produce 5 seasons. Each season will have 20 episodes. Big numbers, aren't they? More about the plot. What is going to be in the series? Many sources, such as One Ring, confirmed that the show will be focused on young Aragorn, but on March 7, the official account of Lord of the Rings series tweeted the map of Middle-earth with caption Welcome to Second Age. This means that we'll not see any characters from Fellowship of the Ring in the series, even Gandalf. The only characters we can probably have in the show are Galadriel, Elrond and Sauron. The series will be most likely about Middle-earth in Second Age, Sauron, Numenor and the Last Alliance of Men and Elves. In case you don't know about Numenor, here is a short information about it. Númenor was a kingdom of men, established on an island brought up out of the sea by the Valar in the early Second Age after the final ruin of Beleriand, and was where the Númenorians originated. The ancestors of Aragorn were from Númenor, and these people created the kingdoms of Arnor and Gondor. Who are the showrunners? J.D. Payne and Patrick McKay will be the two showrunners for the series. They've previously worked as writers on Godzilla vs. Kong and Star Trek IV. In a statement, the duo have said, The rich world that J.R.R. Tolkien created is filled with majesty and heart, wisdom and complexity. We're absolutely thrilled to be partnering with Amazon to bring it to life anew. 
We feel like Frodo setting out from the shore. With a great responsibility in our care, it is the beginning of the adventure of a lifetime. Joining them as a consultant is Brian Cogman, who is best known for rising from an assistant on Game of Thrones to writing some of the HBO fantasy series' best episodes. Also announced to be writing episodes for the Lord of the Rings TV show are Jennifer Hutchison, Helen Shang, and Stephanie Folsom. Director J.A. Bayona, the Spanish filmmaker who last helped the Jurassic World, Fallen Kingdom and the Monster Cults before that, will direct the first two episodes of Amazon's Lord of the Rings prequel series. Tolkien created one of the most extraordinary and inspiring stories of all time, and as a lifelong fan it is an honor and joy to join this amazing team. I can't wait to take audiences around the world to Middle Earth and have them discover the wonders of the Second Age with a never before seen story. Peter Jackson confirmed that he isn't involved in the series in an interview with French publication. I am not involved at all in the Lord of the Rings series. I understand how my name could come up, but there is nothing happening with me on this project. Well, in 2011 it was confirmed that Peter Jackson won't direct The Hobbit, but at the end he became the director of the trilogy. This means that there is still chance to see Peter Jackson in the directing cast. As we see, Amazon hires very young directors and showrunners with full of potential, and they are doing the same thing with the actors. Cast According to Variety, Australian actress Markella Tavana will take on the role of Tyra, an entirely new character who isn't mentioned in any of J.R.R. Tolkien's beloved books. Markella is known for playing in Romper Stomper, Picnic at Hanging Rock and The Cry. The second actor that Amazon rebuilt is Will Poulter. Probably you saw him in the Chronicles of Narnia and The Maze Runner. The English actor will get a lead role in the series. The character is named Beldor. And you know what? There is no character with that name in the Tolkien works. On October 16, the third cast member was announced. Maxim Baldry, best known for playing Victor Goraria in BBC series Years and Years, will get a significant role in the series, joining the likes of Will Poulter and Markella Cavana. The last member of the cast that we know is Joseph Mowley, who previously played in Game of Thrones as Benjamin Stark. His character is named Orin, and he is the show's primary villain. A detailed search through the archives doesn't turn up a character with that name. As we see, the characters aren't from the works of J.R.R. Tolkien, but maybe Amazon doesn't want to reveal their real names. What do you think? Is Amazon planning a Middle Earth extended universe? We live in an era where everything from Marvel and DC to The Walking Dead and Star Wars have the concept of an extended universe, built into their long-term plans. Amazon will make an extended universe too. They are working with the dense and storied lore of one of the most popular universe creators of all time, J.R.R. Tolkien, and have huge chances to success in creating an extended universe. Amazon has already announced one potential piece of universe building in the form of a new Lord of the Rings console video game that is already in development. The game doesn't appear to be directly linked to the show, but that hardly disqualifies it as a part of the greater continuity that Amazon is in position to propagate. It appears to be a free-to-play massively multiplayer online game that will give fans around the globe a new, immersive game experience for epic exploration of the vast world of Tolkien. Whether the game ultimately ties into anything from the coming show or not, it appears that Amazon's exploration of Tolkien's world is only just beginning. What do you think about the series? Will it success as the Lord of the Rings trilogy? Write your thoughts and feelings in the comment section, and if you like this video and want to see more, subscribe and click that bell icon. Thanks for watching and goodbye!